guys welcome back to tractors trails and living free and it is kind of a humid warm uh, mid-august night here so with all that entails a little bit of stickiness kind of hot and we got mosquitoes around so i got the deep woods off i don't mind it this uh this episode brought to you unintentionally by deep woods off i'm using it just to make sure i can keep my sanity here what we're going to talk about today is levels now I've had a couple different levels. I just want to talk about the two different types and tell you what I want to use them for and why I got, got what I did. So what we have here is uh, the Bosch GOL 24. It's what's called an automatic level, but I, I, I tend to like to call it an optical level because you're actually using the, uh, the sights, front and rear sights to actually find what you're looking at and target it. And then there's a couple different things going on here. One, you can uh, shoot the angle based on the scale here on the bottom. And uh, there's a couple lines above and below your crosshairs in here that allow you to actually estimate distance. Now the way this works is you have to have two people working it. So you have to have one person siding through this and then you have to have another person holding a grade pole. I'm going to go ahead and grab that real quick and show you. All right. This is a grade pole. So basically extend it up a couple different ways they can be graduated. This one happens to be in uh, in uh, eighths. It's called eighths of inches. So we have 12 inches per foot here. See the bright red is there. That's the foot. You see we've got 12 different sections there. And these are all in eighths of an inch. You can also get these in tenths. Uh, it's not tenths of an inch. But they, they say it's in tenths. But what it's actually in is instead of being divided into 12 inches, each foot is divided into 10 tenths of a foot. And then each tenth of a foot is divided into two ten hundredths of a foot. So no big deal. Either way, they can work fine. They work exactly the same. So what you basically have to do is you have one man or woman looking through this, the site here. And then they try to locate where on this that falls when you take an elevation. And that's fine and good. Um, but what I want to do is to be able to do a little bit of trenching and excavating and whatnot with the uh, with the Massey Ferguson and be able to basically dig uh, foundation piers hopefully for a cabin and we'll show you that spot where we're going to do that and uh, run run the other level there now this is fine but what you'd have to have is a minimum of two people and ideally three you'd have one person on the uh, excavator or on the back on the tractor um, you'd have one person siding through this and one person holding a grade stick. And that's fine and good, but like I said, it requires coordinating two, um, or ideally three people to do it. So what happened was, and I got this for a good deal, I'm not complaining about that, uh, found this used in barely used condition. Uh, seems like I'm finding a good handful of those deals, just like with the Massey Ferguson. Um, but what I found recently at a garage sale find was this. And this is the CST Burger LM30. So this is a rotating laser level, and it's it's not uh, how do I call it? It's not automatically leveling. So I can't just put it on here and have a it level itself. There are two different axis X and Y axis uh, screws here to go ahead and level it up with a uh, with a spare level on both sides. But with only two, it's pretty easy to run. Unlike these, which almost always tend to have three of them on it. So we got this going, and this was all I got with it. It was just sitting in a case at a garage sale, but as a lot of you probably know, these can cost a few hundred dollars. Um, you know, if you want to get a consumer level one at uh, at a big box store, you're probably going to be paying between five and seven hundred dollars for this, and you probably get you know you get the uh, tripod and such, you get a couple extra things. But this was pretty much all I got with it. But it was just sitting there at a garage sale for uh, under a hundred bucks. So. I've been wanting to have one of these for a while. I kind of thought for that price, I'll grab it and see what happens. Okay, so I get into the case and realize that um, I'm gonna need a, uh, what's called a laser detector or a receiver to put on this gray post. So, went ahead and looked around online. Found a pretty good one for under a hundred bucks, I guess. We'll see if it's good or not. I, I've only messed around with it once, so we'll see if, if it ends up being satisfactory. But I found that, ordered it up, and uh, let me go ahead and connect it to the grade stick here. Kind of let you see what it does. 
All right, guys, so we're back here. So I went ahead and got this screwed on here, and uh, this came with the uh, the receiver and the clamp here. And it's pretty cool because the clamp itself has a little bubble level on the top here. I don't know if you can catch that. So you can tell whether you're holding the the uh, grade pole itself plumb or not, which is pretty important. Um, this clamp's right on, and then uh, basically it has two different accuracy levels. So one's kind of like a... a like a super fine and then one is fine uh, I think this is like a sixteenth of an inch accuracy and this is uh, um, I think a sixteenth out of farther range but um, so as you can see it's kind of loud there now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and turn this on front here and we're just gonna put it at a uh, just a rotation it doesn't it's, we're not really setting it up to be at any specific height so we're just gonna show you how it works here. If you get it up here. Okay, so right now it's telling you uh, this needs to come up a little bit more to go to level. And if you can see the line there, based on the line here. All right, so you get the idea. It basically stays a solid tone like that when it's level. The good thing about this is I can just set this up and I only need um, at a minimum one person. So I can actually use this myself if I wanted to, or if I just wanted it to be convenient, stay on the back of, could have two people running it. Now the idea here, go ahead and shut this off for a second. The idea here, is that in the spot if uh, one of our earliest videos we did it was the uh, trail mowing and clear tree clearing video I went ahead and showed you a couple different spots on the property and one spot was a spot we were hoping to build a cabin at some point just just kind of a getaway cabin beside the creek and I'm still not settled on what kind of foundation I want to use whether you want to use a gravel pad uh, with wooden skids or a slab or a crawl space or just piers at certain spots on the corner and in between where they need to be but I figured it's going to be a lot easier for me to dig these accurately. So the idea in a future video, hopefully a future series of videos, is to go ahead and do, uh, do one where we're going to go ahead and set up for building this cabin out there. And part of that being the foundation, I wanted to be able to have something I could use to go ahead and use the Massey Ferguson backhoe, go ahead and dig these out, and have it be reasonably accurate. Because obviously we don't want the floor sloping, we don't want it to be a big deal. If it's something we have someone, a crew set up, I don't want it to be a, an issue where they're going to be fighting level the whole time. And then, yeah, I don't know if you've ever built anything, if you don't make sure you get it level at the beginning, you're going to be fighting it all the way up. So that was the idea with this. So we're going to go ahead and uh, kind of take this into the woods where it's a little bit darker. I think it's about, uh, uh, I think it's about 8 p.m. right now. So the sun's not quite setting, but it's probably within an hour or so. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and take this one into the uh, into the woods, and we're going to try to see if we can't see the level line, and maybe uh, maybe just kind of play around with it a couple different spots where we're wanting to do that cabin. So let's go ahead and show you that. All right, guys. So we go, went ahead and moved the tripod and the laser uh, rotating laser level. Now this is the area behind me here. It's uh, an area we cleared out actually with the John Deere 430 with the grader blade uh, to go ahead and get all the uh, surface brush off here and it's a pretty good size clearing now we are going to take a couple a uh, couple more trees out of here just to keep any kind of danger you know any kind of dangerous thing from falling on our cabin when we do decide to do it um, but the idea is that if we did do like a pier foundation that it's going to be oriented long wise along here and along back there maybe be maybe be 24 by 16 uh, hopefully bigger and uh, it runs right beside our trail here the trail that's gonna be at some point the main trail around all of our property right now it's just a little cross-cut trail that that my wife and I built one day but it's actually gonna become part of the main trail because it'll be sitting here with the creek down there and with the trail right here we hope to have a cabin with a uh, with a uh, just a covered porch over it on this side it's kind of like just a creekside getaway where we can just sit there and relax and maybe enjoy some of the days. We're going to have to screen it in because of the uh, summertime bugs during really wet springs and stuff, but 
other than that, I think it's going to be really open and awesome. So, so that's the idea. So let's go ahead and uh, turn the laser on here. See what we got going on here. Maybe I should just tell you what we're going to do here before I get far away, just to make sure you're here. So I'm just going to go ahead and check a couple spots where I think the corners are going to be. Hopefully we catch it all on camera, and that way you can kind of see, get the idea when you look at it to see where all the corners would be, kind of see what we got going on here. But this has kind of been a dream of uh, my wife and I's dad for a while. We got the land, and we wanted to uh, go ahead and uh, and do this cabin someday. You know, Lord willing, hopefully it pans out and uh, our dream does get recognized. So I'll go ahead and just kind of touch on the areas where we think the corners will probably be and uh, I don't know, see what you think. All right. So, you know, we haven't measured the corners out, just, you know, making sure they're they're square and all that and such. We'll go ahead and turn this off. Um, we haven't measured that, that rectangle just to make sure it's all squared and located our exact corners. When we do that, we'll go ahead and find one, and uh, then we'll probably use the, uh, the, um, the other level to go ahead and make sure we get a good 90-degree corner on it to start with. And uh, then we'll spray paint some lines and, and mark it out here in the future when we're ready to do that. If we do that now, probably get rained on several times and get washed away. Uh, but that's the general idea. Um, yeah, so that's what the plan is. We're going to go ahead and get on uh, get on that here uh, when we're ready to do it. I, I, this cost me less than $100, uh, clamp included. I guess it's the, I don't even know how it's pronounced, the, the Adder Pro LD8. 
there was a different model I was looking at on uh, on Amazon, but it became discontinued between the time when I looked first and when I bought it. So this seemed to be a nice substitute. This was under a hundred bucks. Uh, like I said, this was under a hundred bucks uh, used at a garage sale. So um, I found this used, but I am going to replace my gray pole. Um, it is missing a section on the bottom. I'd like to get one that's just that's just complete. So uh, I probably will invest in another one of those. I think they cost forty five bucks or something like that for for one online. So it's kind of cool because I already had two tripods. So I think what's going to happen is I'm going to end up with a, a decent uh, rotating laser detection system for uh, probably just under two hundred bucks total. So I think this ended up being a really good deal. We kind of wanted to show you what we had because you know when we dig out here, we do want to be able to you know get them down below frost line we are in ohio here so uh frost line here is usually uh between 32 and uh, 40 inches so especially here in northern ohio so um that was the idea that we just go ahead and be able to dig if we dig like piers down in there little corners for you know either concrete some round concrete sonotubes or do 16 by 16 concrete block piers either way we'd be able to dig down into these holes and make sure the bottoms we're all at a similar level for when we do our footings and such. So, so that was just kind of the idea with the levels and, uh, wanted to show you what we had. It kind of seems like if you ever want to do any kind of digging, um, with any level of accuracy, you are going to want to pick up something like this. So we'll see how this goes. The fact that this is not an automatically leveling system, uh, is not ideal, but this was so easy to level manually that I'm not worried about it at this point. And, uh, like I said, this is probably only the second time I've had this one on and used it. it. For now, it seems to be doing the job. I can't give it my full endorsement yet until you know we put it really put it through the paces. So um, I guess at this point, uh, this kind of lets you know that's coming up in the future. And uh, we got a couple other things to do. I really want to apologize for taking uh, taking a couple weeks between videos here. Um, it doesn't seem like it's a lot of work doing some of this stuff, but sometimes when you have to coordinate with editing, coordinate with uh, with uh, having a camera person and uh doing the idea as such sometimes you just need a break so uh we went ahead and took a little bit extra time hopefully you'll be back to see this video and uh um we'll just have more tractor related stuff in the future and uh, more property related stuff because we want to do a lot of stuff with this we want to like i said in the the trail mowing video we want to do a bridge across the creek it's going to need to be level its foundations are going to need to be level we want to do the cabin like we said um probably doing some trenching for a water line and electric line out this way. So, uh, from the main house. So, and, and then we got a main house that we're actually trying to remodel as well. Uh, let us know if you guys are interested in seeing some of that, because that's going to be a long-term project that we'd like to kind of, kind of tease in there every now and then. And, uh, I'll tell you, these mosquitoes are really trying to chase us away, but yeah, that's a project we'd like to work in future videos and, uh, let us know if it's something you're interested in seeing. All right. So again, guys, thanks for watching. And if you like what we're doing, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already to catch some of these future projects we're wanting to do. And share this video if you know people that would be interested in what we're doing. So we'll catch you next time from Northern Ohio. It's Tractors, Trails, and Living Free.